taking it all on. Galatians 6, 5 says, for each one should carry his own load. I got this email from a woman who was ending a relationship with a man that she was involved with. She said, I let him know in the nicest way possible that it wasn't working out for me and I needed to end the relationship. Now he refuses to talk to me. I feel guilty and I wonder if I should have handled it in a different way. Did I do something wrong? This was an important question. Because things don't go well in a relationship, did you do something wrong? Here was my response to her. He had the option of understanding, discussing, clarifying, apologizing, and explaining. He could have asked for a chance to address the problems and promised to work on himself. He did none of that. You are taking all of the responsibility. Remember, he has a part in the relationship too, and the problems. It's ending and continuing as friends. When he walks away without a word, he is communicating to you that he isn't willing to change or compromise at all. Please keep that in mind. She responded by telling me that she would have done anything to end the relationship with mutual understanding and goodwill. Goodwill meaning caring about each other and thinking positively. But when, she, when you assume in a relationship that it's all your fault, then what you're doing is you're carrying a load that isn't yours. She was carrying a load that wasn't hers. She was assuming all the responsibility for ending the relationship on good terms. And she couldn't do that. She could only do her part. Now, here are some clarifications. You are not the only one that needs to carry blame in a relationship. The other person also has to carry the blame for their part of the problems in the relationship. You're not solely responsible for making yourself understood in a conversation about a problem or an issue or a situation. The other person has to want to understand, seek to understand, ask questions to clarify to where they are comfortable that, and, and know that they understand where you're coming from. You cannot have a healthy relationship on your own. It's impossible. It takes two people. You can't have a healthy relationship if you only have one healthy person. The next one, don't ever assume that the other person has the same perspective, the same willingness to compromise, and the same goodwill in the relationship. The other person may not put the same value on being understood, on having things be right, on mutual caring, on mutual goodwill, on compromise. The other person may come from a completely different place, a place where the other person only thinks about what he or she wants, what he or she needs, and not really be committed to making sure that the relationship is healthy and that each person is cared for and understood. When you approach a relationship, a difficult relationship, assuming that the other person has the same level of commitment and goodwill as you do, it's going to keep you continually making bad choices because you're not going to take into consideration that the other person does not have those things and is doing things for a completely different reason than you. So while you're sitting there thinking, is this all me? Should I take on all the responsibility because this person is, is telling me I'm wrong? You're assuming that this person is being honest. They may not be. The blame that they're giving you may be completely manipulative. You have got to be able to just take on the responsibility for your part in the relationship and assign the other person responsibility for his or her part in order to have a healthy perspective for yourself about what is going on in the relationship. Thank you for watching this video on Change My Relationship.